hello subject is uh, microwave and radar engineering today we discuss the unit microwave propagation and components and topic is the wave guide so those are the objectives wave guide basics rectangular wave guide modes circular wave guide cut off wave length and comparison between circular and rectangular wave guide so first of all we basics see the basics of the wave guide so what is exactly wave guide so wave guide is a electromagnetic field line used in microwave communication broadcasting and radar installation a wave guide consists of rectangular or cylindrical metal tube or pipe the electromagnetic field propagate lengthwise a wave guide are most often used in the horn antenna and dish antenna an electromagnetic field can be propagate along a wave guide in various ways two common mode are known as transverse magnetic tm mode and transverse electric mode in tm mode the magnetic line of flux are perpendicular to the axis of the wave guide and in t mode the electric line of flux are perpendicular to the axis of the wave guide either mode can provide low loss and high efficiency as long as the interior of the wave guide is kept clean and dry the function properly a wave guide must have certain minimum diameter relative to the wavelength of the signal if the wave guide is too narrow or the frequency is too low the electromagnetic field can not propagate at any frequency above the cut off it is what the lowest frequency at which the wave guide is large enough the fill fill line will work well although certain operating characteristics vary depending on the number of wavelength in cross section now next is a rectangular wave guide see the structure in this rectangular wave guide it is uh, here it have two dimension a and b for rectangular wave guide is conducting cylindrical cylinder of rectangular cross section used in guide the propagation of waves rectangular wave guide is commonly used for the transport of radio frequency signal at frequency in shf band super high frequency 3 to 30 gigahertz and higher the field is a rectangular wave guide it consists of number of propagation mode which depends on the electrical dimension of the wave guide this mode are broadly classified as either transverse magnetic or transverse electric field figure see the so the geometry here the wall are located at the x 0 x is equal to a and y equal to 0 and y equal to b the cross section dimension of the wave guide are a and b b the interior of the wave guide is pre assume to consist of lossless material exhibit a real valued permeability and real value permittivity and wall are assumed to be perfectly conducting so this is the basic rectangular wave guide it is a hollow structures and it have two dimension a and b depends on the frequency range we can uh, design the a and b and make the one good rectangular wave guide so those are the mode that are propagated in the wave guide so t mode and tm mode those basic modes that propagate in the wave guide but tem mode is not propagate in the wave guide due to perpendicular of the field electric field and magnetic field are perpendicular to each other so at a time what happen only one field is present so that's why tem uh, tem mode is not propagate so t mode t mode is what this wave guide mode is depends upon the transverse electric waves also sometimes called h waves Character, characterized by the fact that electric vector being always perpendicular to direction of propagations in tm mode what happen transverse magnetic wave also called e waves are characterized uh, sorry characterized, uh, characterized by the fact that the magnetic vector h it always perpendicular to direction of propagation tm mode the transverse electromagnetic wave cannot be propagated within the wave guide but it is included for the completeness that is mode that is commonly used with coaxial open wire feeder the t wave is characterized by the fact both electric vector and the magnetic vector h are perpendicular to direction of propagation so only limited number of different am and modes can be propagate along the wave guide depend on upon the wave guide dimension and formats this is a very basic important thing the only limited number 
of different MN modes are propagated due to dimension and format of the waveguide. So this is a mode. See the what happen when uh, mode is propagated. So uh, look like that. See the figure number one. It uh, mode is a T one zero. Second is a T two zero, and third one is a T three zero. So number of cycle is increase and decrease due to mode. Second is a circular waveguide. See the structure, how it look like. It it uh, hollow pipe. So this is the structure of the circular waveguide. So waveguide is a hollow metal tube that transmit electromagnetic energy from one place to another place. A waveguide with circular cross section it is called a circular waveguide. It support both transfer electric and transfer magnetic modes. And T one one is a dominant mode. In the circular waveguide, same way T one zero is a dominant mode in the rectangular waveguide. The circular waveguide is easier to manufacture than rectangular waveguide and is relatively easy to install. That is a basic advantage. It is usually used to connect a horn antenna with a reflector in tracking radars and for long distance waveguide transmission above the 10 gigahertz. The cutoff frequency of circular waveguide is inversely proportional to its radius. Now we uh, uh, see the comparison between a rectangular and circular waveguide. So rectangular waveguide, circular waveguide, it uh, hollow metallic tube of rectangular cross section is carry the microwave signal from one point to another point. And circular, it is a hollow metallic tube of circular cross section to carry the microwave signal from one point to another point. Construction, a hollow metallic tube is Uh, made up of brass or copper the inner wall are coated with gold and in circular waveguide a hollow metallic tube is made up brass or copper the inner wall are coated with the gold applications almost in all microwave applications rectangular waveguide are used due to their small size and their rot uh, rational coupling field pattern thank you